Dude. We's back, man. Yes. B-Side Show, man. Volume 10. Owen in the building, man. We're all the way live every Monday night. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hip-hop yes, shit, yes, as yes, you can yes. tell. Hey, man, we were all kind of talking uh, uh, off air and stuff like that, man, you know. Uh, boy Lucky, you know, he was saying that you know he respects what you were saying and stuff, and it just th- it thought of it like, cause you know how they say things are like in a full circle, you know, everything, music, fashion, everything. But you know, do you think that you know when you were 19, you know, do you think that the people that were like your age now saying the same thing about what you're doing? About that these Negroes, uh, uh, is not like, really what are dope? they doing? This is yeah. Like this is not good. No, we were fucking extraordinarily dope, dog. We were, we were innovators, dog. I mean, fucking the early, uh, the early '90s, the late '80s, early '90s to the mid '90s was like the supreme years of rap. Yes. The golden. I believe that all, all of the innovations, the things that you had never heard before, was in that, in that it was era. There. Yeah. So no, they didn't. They didn't. The people. The people before us didn't know what the fuck we were. They were like, what the fuck is this? What is this flippity flop choppity? I can't understand that shit. And what is this loud dude that's fucking obnoxious as fuck? It's loud ass. I don't like that no, shit. No, they didn't like it. Hey, yeah. They didn't like it because they didn't understand it. There but you they, go. De- they definitely didn't go. They, it went over their head. And they knew it. They knew it was over the head. Right. They didn't go, oh, this is subpar. This is not good. They go, I don't understand this shit. I don't like it. You know, which no, is, and which that, is better. But but then they but as they seen in the progression of hip hop, then they obviously like, you know. Well, yeah. because the ear gets gets, gets tuned in. Right, 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 to right, new right. things yeah. after and, they've heard it enough. And, and that's and, that's why I asked you that because I know a young shoe will be saying the same thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, there's a smart young shirt out there just saying, well, when you were your age at this time, da 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 da, da I'm pretty sure they said the same thing. So that's the reason why I no, asked, you no, know? No, no, no. I mean, I, I can I, understand that for most things, but for that, no. It could, no. No, because it is what it is. Like, that was the gold, that was that era, man, the golden Speaking era. Speaking of golden eras, I have to say yep. this before I forget it. Yep, go. Where's the camera? Is that the camera? That's the camera right there? Dope. I just put picked up 16 bars from Be Real from Cypress Hill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I'm headed for radio up in this motherfucker. <laughs> Look, check this out. It was a song that we already determined was radio quality, a song called Easy E's Bloodline, right? Over a Baker That's Boys right. track. The Baker Boys currently have 65 stations syndicated. Yes. I'm back on the motherfucking radio. Hey, there you know you what? Go. That, that was actually... I'm Bam! Glad, I'm glad you transitioned into that because that was actually what I was going for. It, I mean, that was that main that main hit single. It was the Baker Boys, man, and they were innovating radio at the time back then, too. Yeah, yeah. But this is what I wanted to say, and it's a trip because of the Click Clack joint. That shit took off, and that that's by the homie, man. He's a good friend of mine, C. Blunt, and um, he produced that joint. But then the Baker Boys, like, they heard it, and they were, like, all on board with the Click Clack track, too. Like, they rolled with that. Right. Yeah. Well, listen. I'm, 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 okay. Uh, uh, okay. Blunts is going to be upset at me right now because I'm, I'm going to take this moment to stick. Yeah, fuck you. I'm going to take this moment to point my finger at him. Look. <laughs> Uh-oh. Click Clack is a very, very dope song, right? Done by Blunts. Blunts did the beat. It was done six months, a year ago, something like that, right? It was really, really dope. And the thing of it is, there's a lot of songs in between that song and now, right? Yeah. That are just as dope and maybe fit into radio a little bit better, right? But here's the thing. This, this is why I'm mad at your boy Blunt. Okay. Let me, let me just take Blunt's out of it. Producers, when you produce a song with the rapper, right, that's not the end of the song, okay? There's other things that need to happen with the song after you've done the production of the song. Yep. The promotion of the song. Here's the problem. It takes a team to promote. Why I'm here, right here with Owen, this ain't the end of the promotion team either. There's about five or ten more people involved in promoting the Volume 10 project and Volume 10 as a brand. So what I'm saying is, once you do these songs, you then have to help the rapper promote it. 
show up to the club. You know what I mean? Be his partner. You are his partner in the song, in the beat of the song. So when he goes out to promote and work the song, work the song with him, or he, the, the, the rapper has less power to work with as he's out there in the field. If I have my producer with me, we look like we have our thing together. We look like a team. We look strong. We look united. Not only that, but I get to talk you up. This is my boy Blunts. This nigga hard as fuck. You need to fuck with him. You know? Hip -hop otherwise, one -on -one. <laughs> otherwise, I'm at a disadvantage and you're at a disadvantage. We are not working the bitch. You can't just have it and then not work it. You got to work it too, man. So, Can Blunts I work? is my nigga. Blunts nice. is one of the most... I, I, I say this about Blunts all the time. Blunts is the Hispanic Dre. This nigga... No, he, got, he is he dope. Is. But no, he, he has points. He is dope, but he has points. I'm just saying that Blunts could be a millionaire right now if this motherfucker would run around the city of Los Angeles. Not be stuck out in San Bernardino. San Bernardino's cool. I love San Bernardino. Yeah, yeah. I love San... No, I do. They love me. And I'm with that. But you can't... Your life can't be San Bernardino when you're trying to be a millionaire producer. Okay? I mean, L.A. is the mecca of the entertainment street in the West Coast and then Man, New York City. You and live what? an hour away drive. Get your ass to fucking L.A. <laughs> How oh, the hell, <laughs> listen, listen, Blunts, how the hell, because by the minute now, I, I don't know if this is live or not, but I know yeah, you're going to have yeah, about 100 yeah. motherfuckers on you right now. How could you not be at the Rock Kim show with me on stage doing this <laughs> yeah. while, I'm, while, I'm, while, I'm, while I'm busting your fucking beat? Okay, I'm done with that. I was <laughs> actually just so you know, I was doing that, but I was on the side of the stage. I was on the side of the Appreciate stage. That. I was like, yeah. Oh, hey man, wow. volume ten, keeping true. it one hundred so in here, so man. True. And I wouldn't expect anything less from the homie, man. Keeping all the way one hundred. Let me ask you something, though, Owen. Let me ask you this, man. Cause I know I'm a hip hop. Hey, we're we've had yeah. conversations, dog, and it's all on all of this stuff, different aspects of hip hop, but. Um, Personally, what made you um, want to fuck with the homie Volume 10, man? That was a legend. That, I mean, yeah. I grew up to that song. That's right. Like, every day it was on Power 106. That's every right. Every day. And K-Day, it was every day. So it was like, when I met him, I was like, no one's working with you? Yeah, watch me. Watch me. Yeah, no, no, cool. hey, dog. And, it, and it's only right because you got your movement going strong with the, with yeah. the shows. Well, so yeah. it makes perfect sense. Actually, uh, shout out to Pause One, um, yeah, uh, and uh, uh, Elder Sensei. Uh, I'm about to go on tour with them. Uh, Pause, dope, dope. You know, put me on. So, you, man, shout out. That's yeah. right. Hey, hey, Pause is out there doing his thing too, man. What, what up, Pause? Yeah, what up, Pause? Oh, wait, sorry. What up, Pause? Oh. Oh, <laughs> see, you know, yeah, the. Hey, but you know, that's. That's just a love hate relationship. That's the homie right there. That's the homie. But if anybody else talks shit to him or anything like that, you motherfuckers better watch out. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, yeah. Wacko will sick the mustache on you, fool. Throw it like a ninja star. Hey, but volume ten. Listen, I want to say I don't want to snatch your mic, Mike. But before I forgot, I want to say what's up to Big Duke in the house. Duke. Duke will be at the club tomorrow. He's gonna be my special guest. I'm doing an, uh, an album with Duke. My first verse that I laid down was a week or two ago. I got on a jam with a, with a couple of the guys down there. It's a dope ass song. Um, I also ready to get back in the studio with Duke. I got a, 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 a song that I just did. It's hot, 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 hot. Uh, with that, I want to say, listen, the movement is on. The movement is strong. Y'all know what it is. Let's link it together and make it happen. You know what I mean? It ain't gonna happen for us without us. You understand? So let's get busy.
Hey, hey man, and, and, yeah, and, and I'm glad you shouted Duke out because we've been working yeah. a lot. I'm a wacko on myself, the B-Side show. I'm doing a lot of work with Duke and all their team, too. So, shout out to them. It's only right you're working with Shout Big out to Duke. all the cities that uh, are holding us down. We're going to do uh, the 21st in Colton, uh, the 28th in San Marcos, the, uh, the 4th of July in San Diego. Oh, we got a residency out there every Friday now. So, yeah, do it for Oh, dope. Dope, man. That's right, man. Nice. Oh, and making moves, man. And, 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 and he even plays acting roles as a migrant farm worker. Hell yeah. Fucking, Big up yeah. Hazard, man. That's yeah, my dude. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. man. Amazing. That shit was amazing. The video came out good, oh, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, thanks, man. bro. Appreciate it. Hey, it's rotating in Guatemala. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't even yeah. know that. Yeah, yeah, Sector Uno. Big up Sector Uno. Dope. Hey, hold me down. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Hey, hey, volume 10, man. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Let me give a shout out to uh, Candy Crush crew from Brazil. I've been talking to these guys about getting me out there for a performance out there. Okay. If y'all know that fool, them fools, hit them up. I did a song over a Uzi beat. That was pretty, pretty dope. You know what I mean? And them fools out there, the Kenny Crush kids, they love the motherfucking uh, trap shit. So, big ups to them. Hello, check, check. Big ups to them. You know what I mean? All right, what else? And cut the check. <laughs> cut the fucking check. I'm See, probably going to J- uh, Japan. Too. See, Owen's nice. doing his work in July. Nice, Owen, you're nice. doing your work already. You got to get used to saying that. Cut the fucking check. Cut the go. fucking check. <laughs> oh, oh, let me give shots out to Lil Dino. What up, Lil Dino? Hey, wanna... thank, thanks for coming through, though. Yo, Look, yeah. You don't want to get saved? That little homie, man. I want to say uh. something. <laughs> this, this dude right here, <laughs> this dude has beats. There I'm about is. to use at least one or two of his tracks on the upcoming album. This fool is sick, trapped out. That's right. You, you get with the little kid, man. Y'all little youngsters, I don't know. I, you, you ready? He ain't ready. <laughs> He's not ready for his promotional life. You ready for your promotional life yet? No, you ain't ready. He's <laughs> like, uh, we're, talking. Knows, we're, we're working him into it on the B right. side show, man. But the beats is hot. I just want to give shots out to Lil Dino. Dope, dope. Hey, hot. see, you never know. Next time you might bring it, be bringing through Lil Dino with the beats, exactly. man. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Volume 10 got the open door right here. Dope. Th- thank you for dope. coming through, big yeah, dog. Brother. Uh, thank you, man. What we're going to do, I think we'll do the contest on our uh, social networks. We're going to give out these tickets. Yeah, we do We that? also got some hip hop versus rock tickets to give away. We got a lot of stuff. So, Am I rapping yeah. live? For what? You want? You want? I don't Fuck want to, yeah. but I mean, you know. No, we yeah. want you to. If okay, that's yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah let's do it. Dude. I got a, I got a song. Yeah. I got a song I want to do. That yeah, I'll do yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. See? Yeah. <laughs> click clack. You want me to do a click clack? Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. do click clack and another song. Two songs. Dope. So when we come back, man, he's gonna go ahead and do a little something, something for us. So go ahead and sign us off right here. Beat. <laughs>